That was also ominous. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Around the Water Cooler with NEDNR. Today it's me, Devin. And Alexa, hi. And we also have two special guests. Jamie Reiki, floodplain management. And Sam Caps water planning. And this month we're doing our spooky episode, so get ready for some spooky stories. <laughs> so do any of you want to get started first? Um, I guess the theme is just kind of any spooky Nebraska story this year. It's Mine's not necessarily. So, okay, so my story is about the Nebraska State Capitol building, which is rumored to be haunted. Um, so uh, this article that I found said that for many years, the Christmas lights were strung up in the dome of the Capitol building, but nobody wanted to risk the 17 story drop. And so uh, the state would cut sentences off of inmates time if they went and like put up the lights for Christmas. I don't know if that's true or not. That's not fact checked. But in 1968, there was an inmate that volunteered to do it. And I guess when they were up there, they suffered a heart attack and fell from the top of the building. And so legend has it that you can hear like the screams like all the way down and you can hear sobs from the prisoner. And there's like other rumors in the Capitol building that there's a female ghost in the library that will help you find the light switch, but it's only for male people that are in the library. And yeah, that's kind of what I have for the Capitol building. It's kind of short and sweet, but but if you go to the library or if you hear some sobs, you never know. Although I should say that the article said that there are no deaths on record in the building. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys get started because I feel like this script is pretty lengthy, so. So I'll go. So I did a search of like haunted water, like in Nebraska water stories, and I didn't find necessarily haunted water, but there seems to be quite a few bridges that are associated. So one quick one is what's called the Witch Witch's Bridge in Weeping Water. So basically the local legend is that a woman, an, a woman that was a quote unquote witch, once hung herself from the bridge and her spirit still hangs around and haunts the area. Basically what they say is an, on an odd number night with an odd number of people, you can reportedly look over the edge and see a reflection of yourself hanging in the crank. It says don't look too long because the witch quote unquote will appear and try to pull you into the water if you Ew. take too long. Yeah. No. So we were talking about this at <laughs> no. the, the NARD conference because we were talking to some NRD managers and, and I, cause I was like trying to figure out where this was and I saw some reports that said like, oh, like, you know, there's always a story. They said that like the bridge had been taken down, this or that, whatever, nobody could really pinpoint it. And so one of the NRD managers who will not be named, he didn't give me permission, said <laughs> he grew up in that area and actually like knows where that is and didn't, I don't remember what he said about it, but he said that like, yeah, there's all these stories about it, people having weird mm -hmm. experiences out at the bridge. So that's my short one. My longer one is the Witch's Bridge in Grand Island. So I'm gonna credit, cause the majority of the information I got off of this was from the Paranormal Partners website. And it was a submission from a guy named Eric Meter from 2019. So apparently this is part of the Nine Bridges Road, which I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe we'll look that up. I don't know if there's <laughs> other bridges, spooky things. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so okay so this is the witch's bridge of grand island so legend says that a woman lived in a house on the edge of a bridge who along with her neighbors supposedly or other people in the area were involved with witchcraft or devil worship so as with many of these kind of stories local townspeople tied her to a stake and supposedly set her and her house on fire so she lived like right at the edge of the bridge basically this legend led to the bridge becoming known as the witch's bridge and many believe that it's haunted or cursed by the spirits who died died there as the website claims that there have been an unusual number of fatal car accidents on the bridge. I did not look it up, but a there's a TripAdvisor forum for this bridge, which I think is wild. Like maybe that's how you pick your vacations. Um, they one of the posts on there said that you can see different spirits up there because it's all the spirits of people who have supposedly died on this. Super Way to crazy. Go trip advisor. I know, right? I'm like, K trip advisor. So basically, one of the stories that I found. Um, included time back when the railroad was still maintaining the bridge. So one winter, the railroad workers set explosions to free ice jams. So there's kind of like our tie to what we do here at DNR and the fact that it's a bridge over. And I don't, it doesn't say what it's over. So maybe the plat, maybe some creek, who knows. 
Well, I'm guessing a bigger. It'd have to be. Wait, don't the. We just Missouri do. Plosives. Well, this would have been back in the day. Oh. Uh-huh. So I Doesn't guess maybe it would be the plaid. Or... Doesn't anyway. have to have um, the army. I mean now. Now, but, but we're talking. We're talking like back before we had regulations, uh, probably yeah, when the know, railroads was, like, was still in charge of maintenance. Could have been anywhere. Literally. Right. So, well, it's this bridge supposedly by Grand Island. Um, so basically, they were setting explosion explosives to get rid of ice jams. A bunch of locals were standing on the adjacent road bridge, is what it said, um, to watch the workers blast the ice away with dynamite. During one of the explosions, the bridge the onlookers were standing on shook violently because of the explosion, and a woman stumbled and fell. Well, Unfortunately, she well, had a baby with her. Oh, well, I was just going to say, you're like standing on a bridge looking at like a river that has ice with explosives not only like is the explosion dangerous but like the shards of ice would it be dangerous like well this is pre-osha or safety plans but like i don't think she thought that far <laughs> yeah, right? it's, like, okay. it's like family fun night <laughs> let's go watch There's the ice explosions. sports of weird things people went and watched back in the day <laughs> yeah i could say it's been worse historically i'm not gonna lie if i could i would be watching it it's oh close as i would <laughs> from a safe distance not like downstream <laughs> every year during ice monitoring season number one question i get can we go watch they want to they want to know if they're gonna get the dynamite out we do did ask um john winkler at papio missouri <laughs> river and he talked about it well like they 19. talk about it every year like uh, i just want to really bust out the about the possibility john said of they have a dynamite guy they do but i thought that <laughs> So well, so Alexa, <laughs> Sorry. this is not such an awkward, odd thing that people still aren't wanting to go watch the Sorry, bridge. Sorry, Sorry to derail that. I was just like, that doesn't look safe or sound safe to me. Like, it's not. Well, I mean, safety is know. of no concern when Explosions any are sort involved. of explosion <laughs> is. Fourth uh, of July. So, yeah. <laughs> Full stop. That's all you gotta say. Okay, so during one of the explosions, the bridge the onlookers were standing at shook violently, causing a woman to stumble and fall. Sadly, she was holding a baby, and she lost her grip on the baby. I'm just going to have a caveat. These are all claims, and allegedly, and it's the legend, so we'll go from there. So, unfortunately, she lost her grip on the baby, and it toppled over the bridge and into the turbulent freezing water. Locals and workers searched for days um, for the babies, but it was never found. So, basically, it's said that the mother spent long days searching the riverbanks for her child from that day on. Um, So, people, the stories that people have kind of claimed on this bridge, um, people have claimed that if you stop on the witch's bridge, your car will shut off, or like stall, and you may hear the, the faintest sound of a woman sobbing. Some say if leaving your car, if you leave your car and explore the bridge, the ghost of the witch will try to pull you over the side and into the water. So don't get out of your car. Uh, <laughs> on the end of the on the end of the bridge where the witch witch's house supposedly was, and apparently it's still there. There's an abandoned house there. They say that on the edge where the witch was killed, they say that abandoned house is supposed to be haunted. Um, on windless nights, it's said that you can see a rocking on the front porch start to rock on its own um other reports have claimed that a phantom of some phantom of sorts chased them away from the area one report tells the story of a couple who ventured into the area of the house after their car stalled out on the bridge they claim the chair started rocking on its own right after that they were overwhelmed by a really cold breeze so obviously they're freaked out they take off get back to their car and they said as they drove away from the scene they felt like a thump like as if they'd hit something so they stopped the car they get out to see what it was and they found a dead dog lying in the middle of the bridge road Did they didn't they... see anything in their headlights they didn't see anything jump in front but supposedly when they got out they saw a dog that had passed away that they'd hit so they're totally freaked out jump back in their car and quickly drove away. One of them looked back to, you know, turned and looked back. They saw the dog, but it wasn't dead, standing in the middle of the bridge, glaring at them with glowing red eyes. Ew. Yeah. That's like one of those it's like, like the hell cemetery. <laughs> no, it's like uh oh my gosh, you guys watch Supernatural? Yeah, the Hellhounds. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this forum on TripAdvisor, <laughs> which is a trip, right? Um, <laughs> Literally a trip. <laughs> 
<laughs> they said now. Oh, here. Okay, so here's another thing. So after you drive over the bridge, there's a ha there, some of the houses on your left, and some say that people that live there also worship the devil. And late at night, you can see a chair in one of the old, old torn down houses rocking back and forth on its own. So whether it's on the porch or in the house, who knows? They also said the spirit of an old man will try to get you off the property and that he has red bloody eyes. So I don't know what this thing is about weird glowing eyes, but they did say that some farmers own that land, obviously, it makes sense, and they kind of have cattle, so it's all fenced off, but you'll get a $500 trust, so don't. Know. Yeah, this is not a trip. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, Just but if you go, let advice. us know. <laughs> Let us advice. Just don't do it. <laughs> and don't get out of your car if you do. <laughs> but yeah, I think a lot of these pretty much kids going out there, people going out there, checking it out, their car stall, weird crap happens when they get out of their car, rocking chair, glowing red eyes. So that's Sounds the story like my of normal Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story of the, <laughs> the, gra the Grand Island Witches Bridge. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> You've scarred us. <laughs> Thank you. We, we appreciate it. That's what I'm here for. Yes. <laughs> All right, moving okay. on. Jamie. Mine is another haunted bridge. It's the Spring Ranch Bridge, and it's been around since the 1870s, although the bridge itself has been replaced, so jury is out on whether or not the new bridge is still haunted, but maybe I'll have to take a drive down when I'm back in my hometown because not far away from where I grew up. Uh, so Spring Ranch is... A uh, or was a tiny town in Clay County that was founded in 1870. Um, it was an active town until 1940, but never had more than 100 people that lived there. The ghost town still exists, so there are still buildings there. Legend is, or local lore is, that the ghost town cemetery and the bridge are haunted. So the story, according to Only In Your State, is that in the late 1800s, a widow, Elizabeth Taylor, and her brother, Tom Jones, lived in Spring Ranch. They were property owners, and they had some grudges and land disputes with neighbors. In 1885, they were accused of a barn burning and murder, and allegedly the siblings shot a trespasser on their property. In March of that year, the two were dragged from their beds and beaten by an angry mob, taken to the local bridge and hanged. They claimed they were innocent until their death, so there's not much of Spring Ranch remaining, but the bridge has since been rebuilt and local cemetery are still there. I feel like if your name is Elizabeth Taylor, a ghost story, I don't know why that name <laughs> just rings as ghosty but yeah it does it has a yes yeah. and Elizabeth there Taylor. is a historical marker which, yeah so it's if you find on. the historical marker you know where you're at and the fun fact is located in the floodplain of <laughs> the river i was gonna say this isn't that far <laughs> away <laughs> like we could we could take a, a field trip down there well and it's actually like this story of her elizabeth and her brother thomas is on the nebraska state historical society so i mean mine was totally unaccountable Hey, trip and fights are good. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a name. This is there's That's an trippy. actual town. What am I is this on TripAdvisor? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> the the <laughs> this is on the Hastings, <laughs> the Hastings Tribune. So it's a local Hastings paper. And I did look at our interactive map. For it, so it did not surprise me that it was a ghost town. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the Old Wayne Cemetery in Northeast Nebraska. Um, this was written by ChatGPT, so I have not read the script before beforehand so we're going on a journey <laughs> Yep, and we're, um, we're going to see how it goes. So, the Old Wayne Cemetery is one of those places that looks ordinary enough by day. Overgrown grass, weathered tombstones, and a sense of history linger in the air. But as the sun sets and the shadows grow long, the cemetery takes on a different feeling. A sense of unease creeps in, and those who visit after dark have reported strange and unexplained phenomenon. <laughs> Some of which will send a chill down your spine. <laughs> so let's start with the most famous legend, the mysterious lights. For years, locals and vi visitors alike have reported seeing strange floating orbs of light hovering over the cemetery at night. These lights move slowly, gliding just above the graves as if searching for something or someone. Some witnesses describe them as pale blue, while others claim they appear yellow or even green. They flicker and pulse and when you try to approach them, they vanish, only to reappear in a different part of the cemetery. 
It's not just the lights, though. People who have ventured into the cemetery at night often speak of hearing faint voices carried around the wind. At first, it sounds like nothing more than the breeze rustling the leaves, but then the whispers grow clearer, soft and distinct, as if a conversation is taking place just beyond your understanding. You can't quite make out what's being said, but you know one thing for sure. You're not alone. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Man, chat to you. I need that. <laughs> Next year, it's just going to be written by AI. <laughs> yeah. um, so, one chilling story comes from a group of college students who decided to spend the night in the cemetery, looking to test their courage and document any paranormal activity. They brought cameras, flashlights, and the usual ghost hunting equipment. The night started off quiet enough, just the occasional sound of a branch snapping or an owl hooting in the distance. But (laughs) as the hours wore on, something changed. Around midnight, they noticed the temperature dropped dramatically, despite it being a warm summer evening. That's when the lights appeared. At first, that's a middle of the summer when it is hot and humid. If I feel you're out there, I'm gonna be like, (laughs) that's not normal. Yeah. (laughs) Time for me to go. (laughs) So at first, just one hovering near the edge of the cemetery, but soon more followed. The students were memorized, watching in awe as the orbs moved in silence across the graves. But fascination quickly turned to fear. One of the students, a girl named Megan, broke away from the group to get a closer look as she approached the light dimmed and then blinked out she was left standing in total darkness suddenly she felt a cold breath on the back of her neck and before she could react right in her ear said go away i would be like all right (laughs) don't need to tell me twice (laughs) on my way (laughs) Megan screamed and all the others rushed to her side. They all swore they could feel the presence around them, an overwhelming sense that they were being watched, or worse, surrounded. Panicked, they raced back to their cars, but as they reached the gate, they found it locked. The gate had been open when they arrived, but now it was as if some unseen force had sealed them in. They frantically tried to scale the fence, and just as the last person scrambled over, the gate creaked open on its own. Needless to say, they didn't stick around to investigate. When they reviewed their footage later, they found that all of their recordings had been corrupted, except for one, a single short clip of the floating lights hovering silently in the distance before flickering out. Mm -hmm. I also don't know if that is a real story or not. I'm going to have to fact check that later. I know that the cemetery is haunted. But the example, I'm not sure, so. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to list my source. There's a haunted haunted places website that, like, has a map of. All the haunted stuff in Nebraska? All the stuff that's haunted in Wayne. Is Wayne, like, just a really haunted area? Oh, it's the tunnel. Okay, I'm not done. You're not done. Okay, but what makes Old Wayne Cemetery so haunted? Some say it's because many of the graves were never properly cared for. As time passed, families moved away and the cemetery fell into neglect. In fact, some of the gravestones have become so worn that the names are barely readable. Their stories lost to time. Others believe that land itself is cursed. I would believe that considering there's a map that you just found. Um, Perhaps due to the early settlers or even Native American burial sites that might have been disturbed. Whatever the cause, one thing is certain... Those who lie buried in Old Wayne Cemetery seem unwilling or unable to rest. There are more tales, too. Stories of ghostly figures standing at the gates as if they're waiting for someone or something. Visitors report feeling hands grab their arms when no one is there, or hearing footsteps following them through the rows of graves. The further you venture into the cemetery, the louder the footsteps become, as if something is closing in on you. That's One woman even claimed to have been chased out of the cemetery by a dark figure she couldn't quite see, only to turn back and find nothing but silence behind her. So today, Old Wayne Cemetery is a place of mystery, a forgotten corner of history where the dead may not rest as quietly as we'd like to believe. Some people avoid it altogether, unwilling to take the risk of encountering something they can't explain. Others, like those students, are drawn to its eerie reputation, hoping to catch a glimpse of those strange lights or hear the whispers of those long gone. If you ever find yourself in Wayne, Nebraska, and you're tempted to visit the cemetery after dark, just remember, the lights may find you 
you first. And whatever you do, don't go alone. Wow. Yeah, thanks chat GPT, you really saved me. Don't visit these places unless you have like explicit like permission to do so. To be continued for another spooky episode in 2025. Thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. If you have any questions or want more details, I guess just go on TripAdvisor and <laughs> you'll, you'll find a bunch of haunted stuff. I was not aware of that, but that's really cool. Shout out to them, I guess. But yeah, have a happy Halloween and I think break time's over. Yeah. <laughs> break time's over. <laughs>